Approach six involves drawing separate works of art, cutting them up, jumbling them, and then puzzling them back together. Create at least three drawings on separate sheets of full-size drawing paper. Use a different technique for each sheet of paper. Use the techniques you learned in this course, that is solid shapes, cross contour, continuous line, line contour, semi-blind contour, one point perspective, two point perspective, line variation, reductive drawing, plain deconstruction, gestural drawing, and so on. Here I use the solid shapes, the continuous line, and the semi-blind contour. Next, you'll spray fix the works of art. Once they're dry, stack the drawings on top of each other. Now you'll cut them into different size pieces. As you're cutting them up, the pieces might not look like they fit. As you saw in the previous time lapse, I got a little bit confused with where these go. So as you're cutting, just try to keep in mind that you will be putting this back together again. So to make it easier on yourself, try to keep it in that same order that it originally goes in. So in that way, when you do the next step of switching pieces around, you can just flip them over like so, and keep them in the order that they go in. Once you have the pieces kind of jumbled around, you can start to tape them together. You can either tape them um, by taping the backs of them or you can tape it or glue it down to another full sheet of paper that's not cut up.
going back and looking at the different methods that I used, um, the one that you choose might want to depend most on what effect you want overall. So looking at the tape, um, just taping the backs of the pieces together, the first method I used, it got this kind of like bubbly effect. Um, it looks really cool, especially with the like weird puzzling together. Um, but if you want something that lays a little bit more flat, the gluing to another sheet of paper, um, that worked the best in terms of getting all the edges down um, and keeping that flat surface. However, using the glue, it really made this um, a kind of messy, messy effect because once the glue touched the charcoal, it just spread charcoal around even though I had spray fixed it. Um, so for me, the best method was taping down to a full sheet of paper. It kind of got like some lifted edges and um, I was able to control where I wanted the pieces without getting too much of a bubble effect. Um, however, if you want something that's clean, um, maybe combining these two methods, taping first and then using a Q-tip with some glue, you can go over and glue these edges down so you just get a flat surface. It all depends on what you want. If you want that bubbly effect, just taping the backs of the pieces together. If you want um, something that's really flat, taping and then gluing. If you want something that's kind of in the middle, just kind of play around with it and have fun.